Classics. It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Washington Commanders and the Denver Broncos, and it comes your way next. We find ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Washington Commanders and the Denver Broncos. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me as always, Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Taken just inside the 10. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. As we get a peek at the number two overall pick from the 2016 draft, standing at six foot five, Carson Wentz. And when you look at him, you see that he's got all the tools you want in a quarterback. The big frame, the quick release, strong arm, has escapability. The issue sometimes tries to do too much instead of just taking the throws that are available to him and occasionally turnovers get him into trouble. Wentz to throw on the first play from scrimmage. And incomplete to open things up. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. To throw is Wentz. Flush to his right. His throw complete right side to Bates, the tight end. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It'll be a loss of two on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. Fielded just inside the 20. 13 yards on the return there after a punt of 57. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by the man who proclaims to be from a whole pack of Badgers, came into the league back in 2012, Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills, the ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention, an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. No gain on the play there, second down. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, not of there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Now a first carry for Latavius Murray. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 
Last play, they got stumped at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Now Wilson on first down. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. Man open. He's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 29-yard line. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. Throwing on second and eight. Wilson, open man, he completes it to Judy. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Up the middle, it's Williams. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Pretty effective run there. Now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality. And pound the rock. And the Broncos are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. Easy, easy. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he will take it in for a Bronco touchdown. Javante Williams, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Broncos will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. So both sides of the football contributing here early. Their defense forces the punt, and then the offense takes it down the field and punches it in on the short touchdown run. And Brandon, that's good complimentary football, and that's what they're going to need if they want to get out of here victorious. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And he's got it. 7-0 Broncos. So that was a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was capped off by a Javante Williams touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands and maybe the offensive move a little bit Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> First carry for the Memphis man, Antonio Gibson. He'll be hit down at the 33. Five yards on the play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a third down coming up. Now Wentz. That's into the hands of his tight end, Bates. Finding room at midfield. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it'll result in a fresh set of downs. 
And yeah, boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy's made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 41. A give up the middle to Gibson. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. On the draw, it's Gibson. Oh, and now some space to operate. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Wentz now on first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Straight ahead, Gibson. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now Wentz on third down. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. We can make this one pretty simple. Love the ball. This progression's downfield. Forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Wins to the sideline on fourth down. Joey Sly is out there now for the Washington field goal. On the left hash mark, this is a 38-yard attempt. Sly able to put this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks at Taylor's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A couple of veterans, Wilson to Sutton there for the Bronco first. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window, he fired a bullet in there for the completion. A well-executed 22-yard gain. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now it's Wilson. He'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And some room to work. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 27 yards there, first down. 
And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. 11 more on that one and another first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. They stay on the ground this time, it's Williams. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Throwing is Wilson. And he comes back with one complete. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. This a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. The kick by McManus is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we're at halftime here in Denver with the Broncos leading this one. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, let's take a look at the next-gen stats from that first half for Washington. And they did not do much at all in terms of throwing the football in those first two quarters. That's going to need to improve if they want to erase this deficit. Meanwhile, for the Broncos, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Broncos with a lead, and they will be receiving this kickoff here as quarter three is underway. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He's at the 40. 20. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Broncos. Well, he made the right choice by result, but a little bit surprising because now the touchback's coming back to the 25 instead of the 20. When guys field it that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want them to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs. Not right there. Now McManus to tack on the extra point. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. And what a job there by Hall. 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent. The return excellent. The result, six points. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. First chance for the Commanders' offense now as they head out for their opening series of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. But we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. 
But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. This will complete to Curtis Samuel. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Crowd keeps moving. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. To throw again on second down. Wentz, he gets it to Thomas. And they're going to get this up to midfield. He's not quick about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little game. Here's Tressway now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time they were able to churn some clock. They got the field goal added onto their lead, but that was a drive that was so long it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game but we probably should go to the post-game press conference because someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive, and he's going to profess that he was happy to get points, but and we know it? that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. Williams going to get it again on second down, and he'll get this one up to about his 14. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. He completes this to Sutton. And oh, he's just gonna be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot, it'll be fourth and inches. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. on the keeper and they will touch him down but not before he gets the first they only needed a few inches but still some anxious moments there but they do convert on fourth this time Wilson will throw and Sutton hauls it in over the middle and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line 18 big yards on that one and a Denver first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Up the middle, Murray. Pushes him over. 41 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what we said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. 
It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Bronco first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. And this is taken in by Hamler for a Bronco touchdown. A great play there. 27 yards. And the Broncos have pretty well pulled away here in the fourth quarter. I heard you use the term put away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Draymond Jones. Cutting him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Winston, the commander, staring down a third and long now after that sack. Now back to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. They kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Here's Tressway now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And taken right at the 35. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And they will take over first and 10. Denver's offense now set to go. It's been a dominant performance to this point, Charles, and this is probably exactly how they scripted this and envisioned it. They got a three-score lead, fourth quarter, and a chance, if they want, to continue to pour it on here. It is their call, isn't it? I mean, the way that they have taken on this game and the way that they have carried this game and have dominated this game, you're exactly right. Do what you want down the stretch. We are in the era of, hey, if you don't want us to do this to you, then you need to stop us. Their call to finish this one off. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. On the option, it'll be Wilson. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 
And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper and a first down. So finally, at this stage of the game, he lets his legs carry him for a big time first down. But I think this is all set up by his eyes throughout the game. He's been taking it all in as he's watched this thing unfold. And finally, the eyes carried the legs and took him downfield. You're right. His longest run of the game waited until the fourth quarter. And maybe that lulled the defense to sleep a little bit. That was second down run for Murray. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Third and two, now Wilson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Oh, Wilson going to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. Eric Sullivan from eight yards out. And the ball goes off the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. So it goes from a three score to a four score lead here in the closing moments of the fourth quarter. And whether they got that bonus touchdown or not, it's been a pretty impressive performance. And they did it with not much time left. But they took what little time was on the clock and used it well. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And he whips that one incomplete there. Well, I have to admit, I'm scratching my head a little bit here trying to make sense of what I just saw. Number one, huge lead. Just kick the extra point and be done with it. Number two, if you are going to go for two, just line up and go for it from the two-yard line. Why make it so difficult? That's a long way to go to try and pick up some points. And this is going to be covered up by Washington. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches... And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review, and this being inside two minutes of play, everything coming from up above. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, ruling on the field. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. On first and ten, here's Wentz. He's going to let this one go deep. And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and the lead now down to 20. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Montrell Washington on the return from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Wilson wants to throw it. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And it's incomplete. They're still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. So this will wind up a Denver victory. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. But what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn.